Okay, you guys, I'm here at work. Uh, I just want to give you a quick rundown. There's a lot of things I did not say uh, last night. Uh, I went to uh, Mitchell International Airport. Uh, that, that is over there. Uh, and as soon as I got there, I started recording on the area where the cars park and people get out. Um, I'm trying to do this as fast as I can because I got to get back to work. Uh, so anyways, I was in that area where, you know, all that is public. The, you know, we, we all know the public areas in, in, in the airport. So I was there and I was recording and recording. People were responding very negative towards looking at me. Couple, a couple of people got on the phone, whatever. Um, so I started filming the two officers that were inside. They had the sheriff badge on them. Two officers were inside. They were not TT, uh, TSA. They were officers. Anyways, so as soon as I started filming them, one of the officers pulled out his flashlight and started flashing his light at me and telling me, going like this. Obviously, I stood there. And they surrounded me. Three of them, I think it was, that surrounded me. They came out, one behind me. I mean, I kept looking back, like, and he's like, oh, you can't do that, you uh, you can't film here, what are you doing, blah, blah, blah. And I said, you know, what are you guys' names? Names and badge numbers. So they gave me their name and badge numbers, which that's the best thing you can do, you know what I'm saying, ask right away for situations like that. Anyways, I said, am I being detained? No, as soon as he said no, I just walked away. And, and he's and, and he's and he was like, oh, come here, come here. I said, he, he said he he told me he, I had to go, so I was like, I'm leaving. You said I gotta go. Well, I'm leaving, which I wasn't. And I just kept walking, and so I assumed they were right behind me. As soon as I turned around, they were gone. But, and I even said on the video, I was like, oh, okay, all right. I thought they were behind me, but then when I looked to my left inside the building, they were they are following me. They were following me through the inside of the building. So I filmed them again, and they come rushing out. I just start walking, and the, they, then they're like, come here, come here. No, no, come here, you ain't going nowhere now. And then I hear one of the officers saying, oh, don't worry about it, he'll learn. That's when I turned around, I was like, what do you mean I'll learn? What are you talking about? You, what, you, what, do you, what do you mean I'm gonna learn? And that's when they came and rushed me. Three, three of them grabbed me, put, put the hands uh, behind me, and, uh, and cuffed me. And the other one, the Hispanic looking one, grabbed my uh, tripod and my phone, and yanked it out of my hand so much that it broke and it fell on the floor. Well, I'm already bitching about it, right? Oh, you broke my camera. And he said, well, you, you're the one that threw it on the ground. I'm like, oh, okay. All right, is, is, is that what you want to say? All right. Then when I get into the police station, the guy says, uh, yeah. I was like, yeah, I haven't done nothing wrong. And he was like, yeah, what about that knife that you had on you? And I was like, oh, really? I kept turning around. Oh, you're going to plant the knife on me? And he was like, Oh, well, we found a knife. And I'm like, yeah, okay. You know, I'm not worried about it. So I'm like, all right. You, you guys you guys are like, man, they were like tyrants. And then all of a sudden the Sarge comes out and they're just talking about, you got an ID or we're taking you to jail. You got to have the ID. I stood my ground for so long. It, it got to the point where I noticed that I should have had a, uh, a GoPro or something on me. And that's the thing, you know. I'm waiting to, for the end of this month to buy a new GoPro, a new computer, new equipment and all that stuff. And I thought, damn it, because when I looked up, I saw the cameras. And then I saw, all of a sudden I was like, you guys got body, body cam? No, we don't. I said, Is that, does that camera have audio? They say no. I said, okay, so it's just filming with no, no voice? And I was like, fuck. So whatever happened inside, it's now a hearsay between them and me. You know, you know what I'm saying? The video is only gonna take me sitting there blabbing my mouth, you know, and uh, you guys know how I do it. You know, talking a lot of crap, and then uh, nothing being videotaped. No, I mean, nothing you can hear. So that was my first fucking fail. I was like, damn it. But yeah, after all that, they took my belt off. They, they made me take my shoes off. They took my sweater, my hoodie, Stripping me and I'm like, oh, okay, you know telling me I'm going to jail. I'm going downtown to the county whatever Fine finally I gave him my name. You know what here you go. Here's my name. Here's my date of birth 
All right, they let me go. When they let me go, they put my broken phone and my broken tripod that was broken in two, put it in a little plastic bag and gave it to me. And I was like, oh, okay, you, you guys broke my shit. And they're like, well, you're gonna have to call so-and-so place and then they do an investigation and if they feel like like we were the ones that broke it, then they'll, then we'll, they'll pay you or we'll pay you for it. And I'm like, oh, so I have to go through all that chain. You were the sergeant right here. You can figure this out for me. Oh no, this is what you're gonna have to do. I was like, okay. And as soon as I walked out, I was like, remember my face, you guys gonna see me again? And I walked out. So, I mean, my phone is broken. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook it up to, to the old computer that I got to see if I can get that film out. But I still got the chip. So, you know, with that chip, I, I guess I'm gonna have to buy something to put the chip in. It's a small little tiny one um, and figure it out. But the chip is there. And yup, you, you guys will see the video. There's a, there's a part one, which is like 15 minutes. And then the part two is when I get tackled, that one's like three minutes. Because as soon as I click to, to record again, that's, that's, that's when they were rushing me. So anyways, stay tuned, you guys. Uh, I left the uh, number uh, I'm on the other video. Sergeant, that sergeant guy is not gonna be there early. He's like a second shift guy. But hey, you know, give, give these people hell, man. And uh, they, you know, they kept telling me, this is private, this is a private airport, this is a private airport. This is a private airport. Well, I mean, obviously, before I left, I checked it out, and it's owned by the city of Milwaukee, you know, and it's uh, uh, in Wisconsin, and it's owned, and, and it's, it says public, and it's, it's not private, you know, it's, it's public. So I knew, obviously, going there. So, okay, you know, they're gonna play them little games, acting like, you know, they, they, had, they were justified to arrest me or whatever. I'm gonna give them hell. All hell's gonna break loose, I'm going back. As soon as I get my 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 uh my, my camera and I get better gear, I'm going back. So, anyways, this is gonna be a, a continuance, you know? It's gonna be a continuance. Peace.